All right, so now that we have a understanding of how to build formulas and functions, uh, I wanna quickly run through the list of every potential formula and function that you can use in Google Spreadsheets. So as you can see, this is a really massively long list. I'm not gonna cover all of these. Uh, what I would like you guys to do is take a couple minutes and Go through this list. There's going to be a link to it. It'll be in a text file um, in the next lecture. So just click on this list. Take a look at some of these functions, some of these formulas. And then in the quiz that'll be after the next lecture, let me know what formulas you'd like me to cover. I'm going to be up adding content and updating this course. And you know, with 400 formulas, I'm going to go over a lot of the common ones, a lot of the ones that you'll use frequently, but I'm happy to create new lectures, new content, and cover how to use these different kinds of formulas if you guys just let me know which ones you want to see. So uh, quickly I'll go through this and then, uh, and then I'll send out the link to this resource. So the array formula is something we'll get to later. Uh, this is, so this is the type of formula, so array will, arrays we'll get to later. Database is basically you can use Google Spreadsheets as a database. So much like uh, another course I have called SQL for Analytics, uh, basically you can use uh, your Google Spreadsheet as a faux database and query it using SQL-like statements. So this is all, here are the formulas that fall under the date category so that, the determine, that can determine, um, you know, the a date specified, number of months before or after another date, just all kinds of things. So returns a date representing the last day of a month. The, all of these different formulas you can use that help you get clarity and clean up your data um, you know, in a given data set that you have. Here's a bunch of engineering things. So it converts a signed binary number to decimal format. So there's engineering formulas, financial formulas, a lot of financial formulas, Google specific formulas, which we'll get to. Uh, so these are some of the advanced things that you can only do with Google spreadsheets that Excel doesn't even support. Very, very cool stuff we can do here. Um, standard info things like, is this a number cell information? You can do logical. So if statements and false, if error, we're going to get to these shortly. Um, very, very cool things like especially using if statements is very powerful uh, so we'll show you how you can build out really complex data queries using just the a couple of these formulas lookups we'll cover later a bunch of math formulas so degrees exponentials all the like operators so returns the difference of two numbers so you can do this to minus multiply parser converts like for example you can convert a provided number to a dollar value Statistical, so there's a lot of things you can do statistically with these formulas. Text, so you can find different uh, characters, change things around in text and the like. And that is the massive list of Google Doc functions and formulas. So take a look at this really quickly. I'm going to copy it, put it into the next lecture. And then in the quiz, let me know if there's any of these that you want me to cover specifically. Uh, other, than, other than that, on the next lever, lecture, we're going to cover some of the more common formulas that you'll come across and do a deeper dive into text, statistical, a uh, couple of the other formulas within each of these categories.